every once in a while, you've got to step back from it all and take a break. You know, you go play other games, some good, some bad. You go, you do other things, you live your life, then eventually you make a return. You log in, you shake the rust off. You go back down memory lane for the sights and the sounds. You become saturated again with those great memories in the gleaming pixels before your eyes. And you realize again what drew you here in the first place. It's good to be back, but I gotta tell you, I feel there's something missing from these videos. We've gotta start setting the trends, we, bringing more people in. We need asses in the seats on Vanilla. If, if I want to bring more people into RSC Vanilla and inspire them to play from a simple YouTube video, well, I think there's only one thing left to do. Full penetration. Guys, we're going to show full penetration, and we're going to show a lot of it. I mean, we're talking, you know, graphic scenes of Dolph Lundgren really going to town on this hot young lab tech. From behind, 69, anal, vaginal, cowgirl, reverse cowgirl, all the hits, all the big ones, all the good ones. And then he smells crime again. He's out busting heads. Then he's back to the lab for some more full penetration. He smells crime. Back to the lab, full penetration, crime, penetration, crime, full penetration, crime, penetration. And this goes on and on and back and forth for 90 or so minutes until the movie just sort of ends. Hi, I'm Mad Attacks, and welcome to Jackass. Uh, we've gone full trashed here on the upload schedule lately, and I apologize. Uh, I, I haven't played much since I put the last video out. I've been on an FPS kick this year, and uh, I've also been swamped with work. I had a stretch of about 30 days straight without a day off now, but I get to take a nice long summer vacation. I, I, I can think of no better way to spend it than diving back into my favorite game, uh, and hanging out with the regulars here and, and shoot the shit. It's been too long. Uh, the thing I've noticed with new games uh, is this overwhelming trend. They're just downright unfinished. They're just in this infinite loop of early access. I mean, the, these game developers are continuing to fail to produce a finished product. In some cases, it's like they aimed for the floor and missed. Uh, so my faith in gaming, the whole gaming industry is like a 4 out of 10 right now. Uh, nostalgia is the reason that I started back on RSC in the first place. So we sort of come full circle. Uh, so, so let's talk about RSC Vanilla in 2023. Because uh, I'm starting to feel like this is the year. Uh, I'm nearing 2,000 hours on the game. So, so what do I think? Uh, what can I at the very least try to convey here? What is the roadmap going forward from my perspective? Uh, you know, what knowledge can I drive into a newcomer's brain uh, in just a few sound bites today? I think 2023 would be a great time to reevaluate RSC Vanilla from a dev standpoint, uh, rescue it from the dark ages, as it were. It's time to look at what's working and what's not, and, and how many people are playing and, and what could be done to get an actual uptick. And what's funny is, most of the people who play are some of the nicest in any game I've played. I'm being dead serious here. Um, yeah, they are doing their part. And, and really, you can't blame, you can't fault developers or the maintainers either, really. You're competing with a billion other games. You are also, let's not forget, competing for a Zoomer's attention at times, and they have TikTok brains for the most part. I'm sorry, but it's true. Let's face it. I work with a few, and while they're not quite on the level of Generation Alpha, uh, the pool is not that deep. Uh, the attention span is as short as ever. Uh, for them to concentrate on a particular skill for an extended period of time, it's just not in their, their vocabulary. It's not their M.O., 
Uh, and if it was, you know, if, if there was one that was an outlier uh, and had these traits, because they're not all this way, then you have to drag them away from something new. And they also have zero nostalgia for RSC. And when I say rescue vanilla from the Dark Ages, I'm not saying drop the 1X part and go full ham. For that, there's always Dynasty. Uh, look, the, the server has been... It's, it's going to be turning five years. It's going to be turning five... Yeah, five years old before we know it. Uh, the old crowd is gone. I, <laughs> I mean, they are gone. Uh, just look around. Most of the players that are on started in the last two to three years with a handful that started in the last year or year and a half. Uh, you rarely, and I mean rarely, see a new account come in and stay long term. So what can be done, I ask. Um, I have my list. I've thought about it long and hard. Uh, if That's what she said. Uh, if, if, I, if I miss something here, feel free to drop a comment. So, number one, I would love to see Vanilla implement RSC+. Plus. It's been around since 2015 or 2016, I believe. Don't quote me. Uh, it's basically like Rarun Light for RSC and could be a great addition. This would add a host of things, like a, like a wiki lookup integration, removing ambient light flicker from dungeons, fixing Paul Gower's grammar and typos uh, in NPC dialogue, hiding my IP address uh, so that when I log in and log out while recording I don't have to edit it out or a streamer wouldn't have to worry about that. RSC Plus can do a lot of things and there are a lot of things that aren't advantageous to new players while being a disadvantage to old players who came up the ranks without these things which is key. Uh, everything from changing the sky color to, to making quest items unedible, RSC Plus integration is the first thing that I would do and you have this beautiful uh, account hub on your website and you could integrate that into the actual game like a plug-in it already tracks everything but loot I mean it's food for thought and uh, we are also in dire need of some skill calculators I mean I, I, I've used RSC emulation skill and combat calcs since the start and those are just so good but to have our own for vanilla and dynasty it would be a big ask, relatively, but I, it would be great to have. The second thing on my list here has to do with existing content. Uh, and firstly, I would say, I believe thieving is 0.8 to 0.9x as of the making of this video, which means it's less than it should be. Uh, I don't feel that it, it can be right. It needs, needs looked at. I don't. I'm 96 thieving. I'm unable to achieve what people with level 80 were getting per hour on the wiki. So, so, so much so that it's not even close. We're talking about thousands of experience off per hour. Um, I mean, I could break down all the statistics for you, but we should just say if there is an update this year, I would. This would be the first skill that I would look into. Thirdly, it is ranged, ranged, ranged as a whole. Uh, experience in the wilderness is calculated wrong and the ranged max hit is too high. I've heard that it is 22 or 23 in vanilla with 99 ranged, fully potted. And in Jagex RSC, the highest recorded max hit was a 19. Although some say 20, I say where's the proof? We have a 19 and that's all you can, all you can go by. Uh, also, you should be getting experience per hit, not per kill in the wild and only in the wild on both players and NPCs just like magic casts uh, so that would be my number three uh, number four the drop tables are sometimes a question I have wondered about you know several things I like like the amount of stackables being off from certain drops <clears throat> compared to the original the rate with which rune kites rune two-handers and battle axes drop RNG sucks because it's like I'm only one guy, and I can't I can't really tell. Uh, sometimes one player can walk in and kill 5,000 Shadow Warriors and get a shield drop. Another player can walk in and kill 30,000 and not get one. Uh, but I can say for a fact, some things are not right in the drop table based on what I've heard players say about the OG Jagex RSC. Uh, people who played 
the OG a lot. I mean, they have recordings. They have undisputable evidence. Uh, and as far as the odds of drops happening, what the RSC Wiki has done uh, with uh, recorded playthroughs and, and um, like record keeping is where I would look. Number five, a physical global chat tab on the bottom instead of a quest tab doing the work of both. Uh, I, I can see, you know, why this was done to preserve the originality of the UI and keep it simplistic. And I guess, uh, I guess this could be like a tickable option in the client setting so that it's not enabled by default, like for the purists out there that, that want that same UI. Uh, or maybe it could be an exclusive option if you, if you ever, if RC plus were ever implemented. Um, I'm bringing it up because I, it's been mentioned to me and in, in 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 the room many times by many players and uh, while none of these things that I've mentioned are game breaking uh, if they are left unchanged it's kind of like you know I'd like to see them become part of an update especially if new things are done in 2023 so this is like my soft pitch uh, my love letter to the devs uh, and, and I would I would hate to see things like this left behind um, yeah, I'm trying to look out for the new players. I'd, I'd like for them to experience what I experienced and, and witness the grit of the original. But at the same time, I'm not opposed to the, the creature comfort updates. Uh, the, the reintroduction of more rares and holiday drops to kill any real world trading that, that, that you might have, that there might be. Uh, and most importantly, stabilize the economy. Uh, that alone does a few things and it, and it may makes you know staking more feasible for beginners for, for instance uh, yeah i mean sh should the population see an uptick uh and, and that's all about timing i think the, the population uptick the introduction of rares new players need those incentives and um yeah i, I think if you want the game to grow you have to fix originality first for the purists and then get them to agree on new additions which is not always easy but i think you'd be surprised at how many current players would vote in favor of like creature comfort additions i i don't have for lack of a better word we'll call them creature comfort additions something like rsc plus uh like like reintroducing more rares like a better in-game map and uh so on and so forth so why make a video like this? Uh, because I love the game. Because a lot of other games out there are failing hard right now. Uh, with development sludge. Uh, identity politics. Or that they're just a soulless cash grab. And people see right through it. Uh, RSC has always had something special to me. And, and, and I feel that it's worth the effort. It's, it's worth the time to maintain. Uh, the hours of playthroughs and back and forth, logging statistics and giving feedback. I think that at the end of the day, the players can all agree on that. And that's why they take it to heart. Uh, and the, the fandom only revolts when, uh, <laughs> when you mess with something they like. Uh, if it wasn't good in the first place, you would hear less criticism. And like I mentioned before, you're losing the young generation through no fault of your own. I mean, it's a sign of the times. Uh, for, for a game like this to grow right now, you have to be doing absolutely everything right by the current player base, and that should never exclude player polling. I mean, Jagex has learned this, this lesson time and time again. Uh, so in 2023 and beyond, I hope that this game can not only continue to be played, and the servers stay up and running, but uh, that a deeper connection is made to the player base. Uh, and whether I come and go, you know, I, I can only hope that I've made an impact. And, and even if it's only slight, at the end of the day, I can say that I did my job. Uh, th thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate your feedback. Uh, uh, the time that you spend on this game and the support that you've given me. In this channel just by continuing to listen to my noise uh, as always have a good one keep grinding peace